And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Cargolino Valentino. This is a game in which you are racing snails. It doesn't say it's a kid's game, but it essentially is one. It's for kids as you're trying to be last, not first in a race, and you roll dice to determine how and what snails you're going to move. At the same time, no one is sure who is what snail. Here's how it plays. So in this game, each player, you're gonna do two races and you're trying to have your snails be the slowest snails at the beginning of each race. Players are going to be get, given one or two of these based on the number of players, and those are the snail or snails you control. Uh, and you want your snail to be slow. When one snail crosses the finish line and gets to the rock, the race will end, and based on where each snail is, you're going to get shell points equal to that spot. So you can see if they're all the way back here at the beginning, that's worth nine, while the one who crossed the finish line gets one, and after two races, you'll add your points together, and whoever has the most is the winner. On a player's turn, they're going to roll four dice, and then they're going to move the pieces according to what they've rolled. So perhaps I might uh, use this blue one to move the blue snail one. Then I'll use the blue one to move the blue snail again. Then I'll use the white one to move the blue snail again. Why can I do that? Because he's on a white mushroom here. Then I would use the green one to move the green snail forward one. The next player might roll and they get two blues and a green. So they move the green forward one, they move the purple forward one, they move the blue forward two. The next person rolls, gets two purples, a green and a white. So for the white, they move the green forward one. For the green, they move the green forward one. For the purple, they move it forward twice. So you can see as time goes by, you're gonna have choices. Often you'll move the snail of that color, but sometimes you will move uh, a snail that is on that piece of vegetation. And that's basically it. You'll do the four dice, you can do them in any order you want. You pass it to the next player, it's their turn. You keep going till a snail gets here. You reset, you rehand out these, everyone gets points. Um, and after two races, most points is the winner. Now, as I said, this is a kid style game. And my kids love this, first of all, they could not get over how fun it was to be slow. Now, essentially, it's the same thing, right? You could have reversed the whole process and given points to the fastest snail, et cetera, et cetera. But it's uh, just having your snail be the last and it'd be like, huh, I'd be like the blue snail's winning. They're like, no, it's not, daddy. Ah, it's actually the white snail. He's in the last place. And every time we played this, they just really got a kick out of that. The board itself is a very gorgeous looking board. The snails... But you know what? The game is simple. First of all, after like five moves, it's obvious to anybody who's playing this game who is what color because they're not moving that one most of the time unless they're forced to move it. Like if it says red and red's in the back of the pack and they look, is there someone else on a red flower and I move them? Then you know that they're probably red. So I don't mind that. That's, that's not a bad, a bad thing that it's easy to figure out because the kids, it's not quite so easy, but it teaches them that skill. Who is doing what? It also teaches them the skill to kind of maybe move things without letting people know exactly what they're doing. Kind of a little, little bit of, uh, of subterfuge there. I like that. The, but the simple mechanism of this, of this is just rolling the colors and then moving the pieces. And you can set it up and be like, oh, this is white. I don't want to move the white snail. But if I move the green one, one space, and he's on a white flower, then I can move him instead. It's a little bit of forward planning. Not that complicated. You're not going to sit there and puzzle out the moves. You have just a couple moves that you can do, but it teaches kids some risk reward type things. And it's just silly fun. The game is not that long on the box. It says 20 minutes. That's pretty much correct. Each race about 10 minutes and it scales well too. It's two to six players. So if you play with two or three players, each person has two snails, four through six, each player has one snail and there's cheers and laughter as the snails get closer to the finish line. And you, you're excited when your snail is losing. 
the whole thing is a lot of fun and also is a good teaching thing to teach kids skills, especially as they want to transition into other games. Highly recommend it. My kids loved it. I had fun playing it. That's Cargolino Valentino. Dice Tower Judgment approved for kids. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Boop. Boop.